Bah, c'est que du bilan positif. Je pense que d'un point de vue sportif, elles nous ont offert du beau spectacle, une vainqueur différente chaque jour, un scénario de course différent également. Et puis d'un point de vue de, du public, c'est une réussite. Je ne m'attendais peut-être même pas moi-même à voir autant de monde présent au bord des routes. C'est un vrai tour, les gens ne font pas la distinction entre les hommes et les femmes. C'est assez incroyable et extraordinaire, on sent vraiment qu'il se passe quelque chose. Aujourd'hui, c'est une étape marathon, pratiquement 176 km. C'est une étape de transition pour rejoindre après les premiers reliefs. Les équipes de sprinteuses commencent déjà à être fatiguées après 4 jours de course hyper intensif. Donc ce sera vraiment l'interrogation aujourd'hui, savoir si on assistera à un sprint massif ou une échappée qui peut aller au bout. After three eventful stages, the course will this time be to the advantage of the sprinters. Two fourth category climbs, the Côte de Pagny La Blanche Côte and the Côte de Grapeau. An intermediate sprint in Charme and the usual bonus point on the Col de Hautbois. 20 kilometers from the finish without any major difficulties. But in bar le duc everyone is in the unknown. The breakaway starts in two parts. First initiated by Emily Newsom of EF Education Tipco Silicon Valley Bank and Anya Lau of AG Insurance. In a second attack, Cypriot Antri Cristoforo of Human Powered Health and Victoire Berto of Cofidis join the breakaway duo. The quartet worked well together and gets a good lead, three minutes and 40 seconds and counting on the peloton. The team of Lorena Weebus, Team DSM, takes over the chase to reel back the breakaway. Still uh, one DSM is chasing. So one DSM, they're pulling at the front of the bunch. The gap decreases, the peloton takes back a minute in only a few kilometers, but in front of them, they don't panic, quite the contrary. Ça va être difficile hein, pour DSM de contrôler vraiment tout le long. Donc euh, on n'a pas on verra bien ce qu'il en est dans le dans le final de la course mais ce sera difficile pour eux de contrôler tout le long. In charm, Lau is the first in the intermediate sprint. Behind, Voss launches the move, but Weebiz is vigilant. A lot of effort, but only two small points in the green jersey classification for the young Dutch rider. Weebiz trying to get on terms, but she looks across and she's going to get the better of Mariana Voss this time. The race goes on and the speed doesn't increase. The attention of the peloton is maybe a little lower, and a huge crash cuts the peloton in two. Oh, and this is a massive crash. The riders who are just rolling along at high speed and suddenly half the peloton is on the deck. Nearly 50 riders are involved. Lotte Kopecky, Chantal Vandenbroek Black, Emma Norsgaard Björg hitting the deck and in tears is forced to stop any ideas of getting back on the bike. The medical car was particularly busy. Yeah, I'll go to the medical car. The elbow is beating a lot. Yeah, so all uh, the medical car is uh, busy with uh, people who not can uh, stand up. So we will, we are on the way, okay? On the Col de Haute de Bois, Berto takes her chance. Christophe is the only one to follow the French rider. Allez, 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 allez. Victor, il faut y aller tout de suite. Hein. Victor, t'as pas, pas le temps d'attendre. Hein. C'est en train de rouler vraiment à fond derrière. Il faut que, il faut que tu tentes maintenant. 30 secondes, 30 secondes. Allez, l'accélération de Victoire Berto dans, dans ce, dans cette difficulté. Ah, Victoire, hein, c'est très, très sinueux le final, c'est très, très sinueux et c'est favorable, hein. c'est favorable pour toi. Allez, Victoire. 
small roads of the final, which are suitable for a small breakaway team. Berto and Cristoforo resist. Jumbo Visma, SD Works and Canyon Shram leading the chase. But the collaboration in front is perfect. In Sandy de Vosges, and despite the will of the French rider, the peloton has the last word. Victor Berto is now caught, though, by the smooth pedalling style of Ellen van Dijk. The victory of this stage is going to be decided by a bunch sprint. A sprint led by Elisa longo Volghini, who makes a mistake in the last bend. Here we go now with Elisa longo Borghini. Oh, ah, no, 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 it's a deviation. It's a deviation. Here goes the green jersey. Lorena Wiebes strikes for home. Elle emmène les Watts, c'est la plus forte aussi. Lorena Wiebes qui va s'imposer. Victoire de Lorena Wiebes, la deuxième sur ce Tour de France, quatre jours après les Champs-Élysées. La néerlandaise prouve qu'elle est bien la meilleure sprinteuse du monde. A royal podium during the fifth stage, a second success for Lorena Wiebes ahead of world champion Elisa Balsamo and yellow jersey Mariana Voss. Take note that five Italian riders finished in the top ten on the stage and that Elisa longo lost nine seconds with her mistake. The yellow jersey remains on the shoulders of Mariana Voss. The Dutch rider takes advantage of the four bonus seconds to put her rivals, Persico and Nuvia Doma, at 20 seconds. No loss of place for Elisa longo Meanwhile, Mavi Garcia re-enters the top ten at the expense of Elise Chabé. The green jersey ranking is getting tighter. Now only two riders are able to bring back the jersey this Sunday. Mariana Voss keeps the lead with 217 points, but Lorena Wiebes is only 26 points back. Half of what she was at the start of the day. Still no change in the polka dot jersey classification. Femke Heritzer will spend another day in the best climbers jersey. For this, she needed neither Coralie de May nor Laura Asensio to be in the breakaway of the day. Julie de Wilder keeps the best young riders jersey, with still 16 seconds advantage on Borgström and Georgie. Finally, Victoire Berto, who took the lead in the climbs and in the bonus point, has been elected the most combative rider of the day. A nice reward for her and which will be good for the Cofferdis team that has been affected by crashes since the beginning. Tomorrow, the peloton will head for Rosheim with a steep course that could still do some damage.